Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a updated hair care routine. I know I did one recently about four months ago, but I wanted to do an updated one because I did dye my hair back in May. I bleached my hair and I went very blonde from that previous video, so I wanted to do an updated one and show you guys my repair hair journey because my hair did get a little damaged. If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley. I am a licensed hairstylist and I do content creation on the side. So if you like beauty, lifestyle, and hair related content, don't forget to subscribe and then also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ashley to see a little bit more behind the scenes. So if you guys are interested to see this updated hair care routine from a licensed hair professional, then just continue watching. Before before I start talking about any of these products, I want to do a quick disclaimer. These products work for me. They might not work for you. So if you see any of these products and you actually hate them or they didn't work for you, like, I'm sorry. Hair care is like skincare. It's not going to work for every single person. So you just kind of have to figure out what works for you, what doesn't. But these products I'm about to show you is what works for me and what I like for my hair. I did have to lay that out first because I don't want anybody in the comments saying that these products damaged your hair or it didn't work for you. Everyone has a different experience. So first things first is I want to talk about shampoo. And if you guys want a full in-depth video of a full hair care routine, I will link my last one. This is just going to be an updated version, just new products that I'm going to be showing you that I've been using and that have been working for my hair. So first things first, like I said, I did bleach my hair back in May. I will show maybe a little before and after my hair was grown out a little bit darker and i wanted to go very blonde i have not been this blonde in a long time and the reason why i did it is because i wanted to go baby pink um back in june when i went to the hair show i wanted to go baby pink i've always wanted to do that color and i finally did it and i loved it so to achieve that color it had to be extremely extremely light and my hair is naturally dark not super dark it's like a medium brown thankfully but my hair is still a process to get light. So we did go very, very light. My friend Aubrey, my work wifey, my bestie, she's the one that did my hair. She did such an amazing job. She always does my hair. She always nails it. But my ends did get a little frizzled. And I did know that going into it. That's why I wanted to prep my hair for a really long time. And I knew I was going to take some inches off my hair because I knew I was going to damage my hair. Also, everyone's hair is different. There are some clients that have very strong, strong hair that can just take bleach like a champ. My hair is the opposite. My hair is super Super fine and fragile it's super sensitive to bleach so my hair does break easily so I knew that going into this I knew I was going to sacrifice some length and it was gonna be a little bit more damaged so after I got my hair done that's when I went into repair mode I wasn't curling my hair as much I don't think I actually curled my hair at all I think I was just blow drying it once a week and that was it and I also switched up some products. The reason why I switched up some products is because I've been using the same products for literally years and years and years. I've been using Orbe and Olaplex for a long, long, long time. I feel like Orbe I've been using, I think Orbe I've been using straight for like eight years. And then Olaplex I've been using straight for about four or five years since Olaplex came out. So I wanted to switch it up and no, nothing against Olaplex. I love Olaplex, I do support them. You just have to use it right for it to work. And then with Orbe, I was just got, not that I got tired of it, I just wanted to switch it up. So I'm gonna show you guys the shampoo that I've been using lately. This I got at the hair show and it's the Trust Deluxe Prime. So this is the first thing I do obviously in my hair care routine. I get in the shower, I wash my hair. I do have a couple shampoos I'm gonna show you. I do like to switch it up. A, because I don't want to over protein my hair. If you do too much protein in your hair, it can actually break your hair instead of repairing. So I do switch it up so that way it's not too much protein. And I also like to get different products in my hair so my hair is not getting used to one thing. Also, since I was in a repair mode, I just wanted to use so many different products so that way it can just work even faster. I don't know. In my mind, that's what I thought. So this is the shampoo. I got it from the hair show. You guys can get this from trust.com, I believe, or from a trust salon. So definitely do your research if you're interested in purchasing the shampoo. I've heard really good things about trust. I've had one of their treatments before, but I've never tried their shampoo conditioner. And at the hair show, they swear by this. And I do follow a couple trust educators slash hairstylists on Instagram, and they love it. So I did get this one. Since I do have a treatment in my hair, I have hair Botox slash a very washed out Brazilian blowout, you do have to use sulfate free shampoo conditioner. So this is their sulfate free shampoo conditioner. I do this because I don't think it's 100% sulfate free. They say it gets 
they say there's a good sulfates in it but it's apparently a sulfate free shampoo conditioner not sure how much i believe that but i don't know i trusted them so that's what i started using and this is the yeah this is the deluxe prime plus so it's for highly dehydrated brittle and discolored hair powerful anti-freeze action and anti-breakage treatment so to them this is their most repairing shampoo for damaged hair so i've been using this and i have the shampoo the conditioner and by the way i do wash my hair once a week i know for some people that might be gross but i've always been washing my hair like that for a long time ever since i was a little girl my hair is just like that so yeah i wash my hair once a week so one week i will do this shampoo and then occasionally i will use the conditioner but mostly i do hair mask in my hair which i will show you guys in a sec but if i'm not doing a hair mask and i'm doing a quick little shampoo and wash i will do this conditioner which is just the same brand and line from the shampoo the next shampoo i've been using is the amica the cure bond repair shampoo this stuff smells so good and i would definitely recommend this shampoo for anybody who wants a more affordable really good salon quality product i have been recommending amica to my clients who don't want to splurge on orbe or care sauce because i do believe those products work more efficiently and they're just really really nice on the hair i wouldn't say this one is just as good as orbe and care sauce but it does the job and it has amazing ingredients in it the whole line of amica is sulfate free i believe don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure all of their shampoo conditioners are sulfate free so it is nice for people who have treatments in their hair keratin brazilian blowout hair botox and I just love the packaging. I love all of the colorful packaging. I'm a colorful girl, so I'm just here for the packaging. And also their products smell amazing. Smells so good. So I wanted to try out their repair line. So I do have the shampoo, which I use alternating between the other shampoos I use. And then I also have a mask, which I'll show you guys in a sec. The next shampoo I've been really loving lately is the K18 Peptide Prep pH Maintenance shampoo and this is what it looks like i've been obsessed with k18 ever since they came out i was a little late in the game i think they came out around the time i went to austin for that hair show and that hair show actually gave me some products in my hair goodie bag and i just never used it up until like maybe eight months ago and then i started using them and i'm like wow k18 is amazing it's definitely worth the hype i know it's very expensive and you can find them from sephora but it is the most like efficient repairing line i've ever used i will say i do like it a little bit more than olaplex i do like olaplex still but there's certain products i like from olaplex more than k18 but i do like k18 right now at the moment i really love their products and i'll tell you guys the description really quickly so you can kind of get an idea of what kind of shampoo this is it's a ph maintenance shampoo it's a cleansing microbiome friendly shampoo with optimized ph for a powerful non-stripping clean engineered for frequent use and a smooth hair result and it says bonus the shampoo preps the hair for the k18 peptide mo molecular molecular repair formulas i can't i can't say that word and it also says 91 percent said hair felt smoother healthier and not weighed down it's also safe to use every single wash and you just focus it on the scalp and then you thoroughly rinse and repeat as needed i do recommend this for all my girlies who want a good healthy shampoo to use every single time this is definitely safe to use every single time so this is what i've been using in concoction with these other two shampoos now going on to treatments i have three treatments actually no yeah i have three treatments here the first one is shower treatments so i have the trust miracle mask this stuff is amazing i've been using so much of it and again this is what they recommended me at the hair show i'm not sure if this is sulfate free but i've been using it because i was desperate and i still use it and it's still so good and i do leave this on for five minutes in the shower and as well as the next hair mask which is from amika it's the same line as the green one so it's going to be repair this is the cure intense bond repair mask so i've been doing the same thing as this i've been leaving it on for five minutes and then rinsing it out so i've been alternating one week i'll do this one week i'll do this one i'm not sure if this one is highly proteined because i've been using it non-stop and my hair hasn't broke off and if anything it's been getting stronger and healthier so that's what i've been doing for treatments and then the other treatment is the k18 leave-in molecular repair hair mask it is so hard for me to say that word but this is amazing it is worth every single penny and i've been telling all of my clients to buy it it is so worth it your hair will get repaired really quick while using this product this one is a small miniature size because i did get a sample at the hair show or i think i bought like a mini size at the hair show i do have the full size but i keep that one at work 
So this one I keep here at home and I do one to two pumps. At the beginning, when I was in my repair hair journey, I did two pumps. Now I can get away with one pump. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like maybe my hair is getting thicker again and my hair can just get away with one pump. But in the beginning, I was doing two pumps. Now, when you get out of the shower, the cool thing about this product is that you wanna put it in your hair when your hair is towel dried. This is a microfiber towel that I like to use for my hair when it's towel drying. You don't wanna put this product in your hair when it's soaking wet or it's not, it's not gonna work. So make sure your hair is very well, well towel dried. Towel, towel dried. Put this all over your hair. You're gonna leave this in for four minutes before you do anything else. Leave it in for four minutes, brush your hair, and just let it be for four minutes. After the four minutes is up, you can go ahead and put in whatever products you wanna do. You can let it air dry, you can put whatever cocktailing products you wanna layer on top. Four minutes, don't put any product in it until after. Now, the directions say you're supposed to put this on after shampoo. So I guess after you get out of the shower, you're supposed to put this in instead of conditioner. I like to put conditioner because mostly I'm using like a treatment in my hair, so that's why, but I do put this after the shower, after I take out the treatment or conditioner in my hair. I will put this on after. This is technically the first product I put in my hair when my hair is damp. And then I just want to quickly talk about a purple shampoo. Um, I'm not really using purple shampoo, but this is the purple mask from Amika. I'm not into ashy hair, but sometimes I will use it once in a blue moon. And if I do want to use it, I will use the mask. This is amazing because obviously it is purple. I'll show you guys. Hopefully I don't get dirty. This is going to be messy. As you can see, it is purple literally purple this stuff i feel like is not as strong as like the olaplex purple shampoo or like the fenola purple shampoo so i feel like you do have a little bit of a leeway of how long you put leave it on for but it is nice because it's going to be toning your blonde it's going to make it a little bit more ashier while also keeping it hydrated that's the only thing i don't like about purple shampoos is it makes your hair so so dry after so i like that one that one is the best i recommend that one to all my clients now that we talked about shampoo conditioner and treatments now i'm going to go ahead and dabble into leave-in styling products and all that jazz i do like to blow dry my hair every single week i don't like to let my hair air dry i just love to style my hair if i do let my hair air dry it's a very rare occasion i will say lately if i'm on vacation or at like at a beach tropical vacation I go to the beach or the pool that day and we're going out right after i will wash my hair and just let my hair be like let my hair air dry. But I would say 95% of the time, your girl is blow drying her hair. So my two new favorite products I've been loving lately is the first one here is the Amika Detangler. This one specifically is a silicone free detangling primer. This is a new and improved formula. I don't remember using the old formula, but I've been really loving this. And even my niece loves it because this is the only thing that helps detangle her hair really nice. And it also has heat protectant up to 450 degrees. This is a great leave-in heat protectant when you go to the shower and your hair is wet damp and you're about to style it definitely add this into your hair care routine it smells so good again i love the packaging it is beautiful i love the pink and the orange a favorite combo right here and amika is such a good brand so i've been using that as my detangler leave-in and then i also have been using a new styling product literally just recently i've had her for like two weeks now and it's from wow color wow if you guys don't know who chris appleton is he is a famous famous well-known celebrity stylist he is the kardashian stylist he's done ergana grande's hair j-lo who else a bunch of other famous celebrities here he is an icon in the hair world and this is his hair brand and i love his products this one i've used a long time ago but i forgot how amazing it was because i think i used it from a friend and i tried it on my hair and it was good not until I bought this recently. I actually got it from the Amazon Prime sale. They had a really good sale on this and I was like, you know what, let me buy this because I've seen more and more people use it and it's the Dream Coat and it magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers. I literally believe this. They call it this glass hair. I have tested this out in the humidity and my hair does not get frizzy. Also, side note, my hair Botox is pretty much faded out. It did not last long at all. So this has been saving my hair in this Florida humidity. I just love how silky and shiny it looks. I really recommend this product. I also want to mention a shine spray again from Amika. The shine spray has been my go-to for the weekends when I want an extra little glam if I'm doing my little 
little big bouncy curls to enhance my layers in my hair. I'll put a little bit of this into my hair and it gives such a beautiful shine. It smells really good. It's Amika, you already know. And I've been really incorporating shine sprays in my hair care routine lately, which is something I've never done. I've always been into the texture, matte waves, but we are evolving here into the glam waves and just the shiny, beautiful, silky hair. So this has been a go-to shine spray of mine. Another product is kind of like a treatment, but I like to do it on dry hair, wet and dry, but mostly I forget to do it wet, so I do it dry. And this is the Orbe Hair Alchemy Fortifying Treatment Serum. If you guys did not know, Orbe is... First of all, they're amazing, but they also make all of their products in skincare laboratory. So the ingredients in Orbe are skincare ingredients. They're gonna be the best ingredients compared to any product I mentioned today. Orbe is the best. But it's also doing amazing things to my hair while it's making it nice and soft. And the Hair Alchemy line is not going to be a repairing line. It's going to be a preventative of repairing. So I've just been loving this in my hair care routine. I've been using this for a long time, but I kind of forgot about it. It was in my closet tucked away and then I started using it again and I really do like it. I have been adding this into my hair care routine as a after treatment. The last two products I want to talk about are hairsprays. Orbe Strong is always going to be my favorite hairspray in the whole wide world. This is the only hairspray that makes my curls last all day, all night. Even Ryan loves it. But I do have one that is similar to Orbe. I wouldn't say it's a dupe because nothing's going to compare it to this Orbe Strong. But it is so good and I like it for days that I don't want to use my expensive stuff. And also Ryan really loves it too. Ryan is very picky about his hairsprays and he has high standards because this is his favorite so this comes in second for ryan and i we love it it's also clean ingredients and it's called the authentic beauty concept stronghold hairspray you can get this from amazon and i'm sure you can probably find it on their website but i do get this from the professional store so it's really nice to have it easily access and when i was at my old salon at the small little boutique salon we didn't have orbe hair sauce and all that so i was using this instead of this and this does work. All of my clients loved it. They compliment on the smell and it just works really well on their hair. So these are the two hairsprays in my current hair care routine. The last product I want to talk about is a oil. This is the K18 Molecular <laughs> Repair hair oil this is what it looks like i love the packaging i just love the yellow but i've been really loving this too because again k18 is going to be a repairing line the other hair oil i really love is from orbe it's the orbe gold lust nourishing oil that oil is bomb but this one is good too and i've been using it non-stop ever since i got my hair bleached and it's really been saving my hair I've also been using it nonstop every day when my hair is dry just to kind of restyle it. I will use my wannabe air wrap. I'll show you right now. This is my wannabe air wrap I've been using. I got this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But every day when I restyle my hair, I will just blow dry my ends, blow dry my curtain bangs, and then I will apply some of this oil all over my hair and I'm good to go. I don't really put on anything else. So this is what I've been using every single day so good it makes your hair feel so soft and shiny but it doesn't make your hair feel like overly oily and k18 is going to repair your hair while making it nice and beautiful so this is what i've been using every single day for my oil and also just my styling every product i do want to mention a hair tool i've been using lately and it's a hair scalp scrubber or massager whatever you want to call it this one specifically i got from tj maxx or marshall's i think i got it from marshall's yeah got it from Marshalls and this one specifically reminds me so much of the Huey like head massage I only use this when my hair has shampoo or conditioner on it in the shower when I'm washing it and I will give myself a little scalp massage this is so important to include in your hair care routine because it's going to stimulate blood flow in your hair and that's what's going to promote hair growth if you're not giving yourself a good little scalp massage every time you wash your hair you're doing it wrong and your hair is not growing as fast as you want it to so definitely pick up one of these from marshall's or tj maxx they sell them for cheaper than if you buy them on amazon or somewhere at sephora or something like that and they do the same thing but this one specifically is my favorite because i love the way it feels it just reminds me so much of like the quay one but definitely recommend adding this to your hair care routine so that completes my updated hair care routine to having healthy repaired hair again these products are not going to work for everyone but these are the products i've been really loving lately and what's been really helping my hair get healthy again getting nice and long i've also been taking collagen and my multivitamins so that kind of goes into play with my hair growth as well but these products have been saving my hair lately because my hair did go through a little rough time she was breaking off and now we are nice healthy and repaired like 
so pretty so shiny and so silky i'm curious to know what's in your hair care routine some of your favorite products or if there's any products here you want to try out definitely let me know down in the comments what you think but if you guys enjoyed this hair care routine don't forget to give me a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out and i'll see you guys in the next video bye